should start. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, my name is Tony. I am coming from Slovenian company Solvera Links, and I would like to thank you also to our partner in Romania, that's it data to you. I know that you more or less are their partners, and I'm happy that I get the opportunity to represent our energy management solutions. Uh, just to know, I was working for 20 years in the IT industry. And now I moved to another sector. Uh, three days ago, I participated in one uh, a conference where they told that in 15 years, the price of gas will increase. Can you guess for how many times? Three times. So we will focus a huge challenge and that's why it's a good idea that we start to think about how we can control energy costs. So I have 50 slides. That's too much for 45 minutes. So I will go very quickly through. And if there will be any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, visit us at ETA to you stand, OK? So just very shortly. <coughs> We, we have three different areas of solutions. One is energy monitoring, energy efficiency, and energy flexibility. Today we will be focused on monitoring. That means that we collect, gather data from uh, electricity meters, gas meters, water meters, industrial gases, and so on, and collect them and present within special uh, gemological application. We have also a special uh, model where we collect the data uh, in railways, in trains, and in energy efficiency, we are talking about how to find uh, uh, area where we can uh, save some energy costs. And it's the same principle in industry and in buildings. And more or less, we will talk about energy management in industry and buildings. So first of all, how uh, those solutions help companies to lower energy uh, costs? One thing is that it's very transparent, simple uh, solutions. Say, so that means that we control energy use within one application. All kinds of energy and everything we can control within one application. The second thing is that, uh, that uh, we can measure also from different facilities. And uh, the third thing is that our software is certificated according to ISO 50000 standard. I will tell you later what that means. And what is very important, that we make energy usage visible. What it means? If we just monitor and collect data in database, we just have a lot of data. But we don't have any information. With different analysis, charts, graph, key performance indicator, uh, uh, indicators, we actually see where we consume most of energy. And it's interesting that just with implementation of such kind of software, you or your clients can save, can save up to 10% of energy uh, costs. I will show you why. That's how it looks. That that, that is charge which shows us how energy consumption is distributed within days, within one month, for each separate hours. You see? And red colored dots means that energy consumption is higher, so that you can visualize that data. Uh, uh, and more yellow and, uh, or orange or green, that means that the lower cost at that hour was lower. So what, what, what can you see now? For example, the production starts working at 6 in the morning and finish their work at 6 p.m., for example. Isn't it strange that also here, with those yellow and orange color, it's pretty high consumption. Why? Nobody is working, Every, the machinery is stopped, but why we still consume so many energy? I will tell you why. Because people didn't aware that they should turn off the lights, they should turn off, uh, uh, turn off the ventilation system, heating system, maybe turn out such kind of air compressor. And when the people start to look at that, they start to 
take care about consumption. Very simple. So, uh, in the middle of the next month, they start, the, the manager says, uh, uh, give an order that people should turn off all devices when they are going home. And you can see that the, the discharge becomes greener. And next month, next month, it was that situation. Very simple, but very effective. That is one of charge uh, diagram or analysis in gemologic. So to collect data and to provide monitoring, we need some equipment. Now we are talking a little bit about product portfolio, which we need to, to uh, deploy energy management system. Normally, we need two devices. One is hardware devices to collect the data from energy meters, and the second one is application. Uh, let's start with hardware. We have two or even more types of uh, hardware, which helps us to connect the electricity meters, water meters, gas meters, to collect pulses or other inputs to those uh, communication data concentrators. And then those data concentrators send the data to Gamma Logic. We can provide different uh, communication protocols like, like Modbus, serial communication, and so on. Also, MBUS, for example. And the second a very innovative product is Combox.l. L stands for LoRaWAN. And uh, the, the good idea that LoRaWAN technology requires really a very minimal amount of energy uh, to operate. So that's why. Uh, more or less, they, we don't need any external source. They could work with battery, and the battery lasts for at least five, five years. So the maintenance is very cheap. There's no any additional work. We don't need to uh, uh, connect it to the external power supply, and so on. And we could connect different type of meters with pulse output, with analog outputs, for example, temperature sensor, pulse sensors, generate uh, analog output. Counters generate pulse outputs. So just to get an idea what, why there are different uh, LoRaWAN devices. It depends what kind of input provide meter or output provide meter. So about LoRaWAN, you know the data to you is also uh, deploying LoRaWAN network. Uh, so uh, we already check one issue. So to, to, to deploy LoRaWAN uh, telecommunication devices, we, we need to LoRaWAN network. The, the very good thing is that it's wireless communication. There's no need for wiring. The cost uh, uh, of implementation is very simple. You don't need to uh, install anything just to screw on the wall, for example, connect to the meters, and that's all. And here's just uh, how everything looks like. You know, a different machinery. Uh, different meters, uh, we connect LoRaWAN sensor, they, uh, the data is transmitted via network, via LoRaWAN network to a utility network server or other network management server, and those the data are transmitted to, uh, to energy management application. Here's uh, architecture. I think that that picture is really, really nice because you can understand the concept. You connect the data from different types of meters, using different type of uh, hardware devices. We can support uh, different type of, uh, let us say, protocols. Those data are transmitted via mobile network, via Ethernet network, or via LoRaWAN network. So we cover more or less everything. And then what is also important, that sometimes at your client, some data already exist. Normally, production, they have SCADA system to control their production uh, process and so on. So that means that that's, that it's not necessary to, to install any hardware. What you have to do just to install, uh, let, let me say, client SCADA OPC server to GameLogic and he set all existing data to GameLogic. So the cost of implementation is really very low and it has been done very quickly. And then there are users, so all uh, analysis can be, and dashboards can be 
let me say, uh, fit to the uh, user profile. Maintenance team will get some alarms and other things. Uh, managers will get costs of, of the wheels projections of the energy <coughs> costs and so on. Uh, for example, a staff in administration will get validated data so they can check if the bill from the utility is the right one. Or, 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 or she or he will make, uh, will exactly know how to split one bill to different area of production or buildings. So I already explained that maybe that uh, we can get alarms, alarms. So that means that in case that consumption in some machine or, or, or I don't know, uh, uh, in some metering point uh, uh, or uh, com air compressor machine or some other uh, equipment rise above the normal usage. That means that most probably something is going wrong with that equipment. So, maintenance team will immediately receive alarms that these things have to be checked and to repair because before there will be some huge damage. You know, for example, I, I uh, explained already that the dashboards and reporting could be could be optimized to the different type of profile, profiles. And what is very important, that we can collect data not only from our Combox devices, we can collect data also from other uh, hardware, which might be already installed at the client side. So there's no need oh, that you go to the customer, you have to check all those meters. No, we can use existing meters. We just have to check if those meters provide communication uh, device that we can achieve those data uh, to game logic. There's a little bit about basic tools. So we monitor uh, currently data, archive data. We can perform different type of analysis, alerts. We can create different dashboards, what is temperature, what is daily, daily consumption. We can add different uh, energy efficiency tools where we can see how efficiently we use energy. And it's possible also to take care about billings, to validate data for billings. We can also import data from weather station. So normally, you know, when, uh, uh, when we compare how much heating we use this year and last year, we can, and then we couldn't just say, oh, last year we spent 10% uh, of we are good. No, maybe outside temperature was much higher. So we have to, com to, uh, to compare energy use uh, uh, divided by difference between requested internal temperature with outside the temperature, yes? That we get exact information, uh, are we successful with some implementation or not? So uh, here's some example of how those different analysis looks like, daily consumption, uh, monthly consumption, there's the case where we divide heating consumption uh, uh, Per, the, the, per square meters, so we can compare if we monitor, for example, in, in the, that's for example, some retail a company has 200 uh, stores around Romania. So we can compare, we can do benchmarking uh, if those uh, consumption of heating energy is more or less uh, uh, the same or if you found out that some store has higher consumption than, than average, that means that something is going wrong. Maybe there is some problem, maybe the temperature is setting too high, uh, or isolation of the building has to be replaced. Here's also we can target, okay, we now use, uh, I don't know, so many kilowatts of heating energy for that uh, difference between internal and external temperature. We can then, we, we can have some improvements, uh, install new heating generator, and we said, okay, we expect that the, that the uh, target line will be 10% lower. And then we can check with another analysis, analyze if we are successful. For example, this shows us 
after, uh, after implementation of new heating generator, how much we really save. And we can see, I'm sorry if, you, if it's too small, the end of the amount, we save 1,000 euros. <coughs> and we can say, okay, the investment for 10,000 euros, we already received 10% in one month. Okay? So we can check if investment in new technology really uh, pay off. And how much does it take, that return on investment? We also can perform geolocation view so we can see in which area uh, we have installed metering points. Uh, for example, we have for uh, when is that? I, I, I think that there is there any uh, colleague from uh, gas or oil distributor company? No. Okay. But for example, just to get an idea, with that overview, if, if the dot is red, that means that level of, of oil in tank is already below, for example, 25%. And that the distribution company has to uh, refill the tank. And then they can optimize the, the route. They see, okay, we will take this route, and within one day, we will refill all those tanks. So optimization and again, lowering the cost of uh, distribution. So that's uh, what I was talking about. It's written here again, so I will not repeat. Maybe just that, that red one that we, with energy management implementing uh, given logic, we fulfill, uh, we can uh, control all energy use, uh, we can lower energy consumption, and then that means that the energy costs are lower. And uh, then today it's very important that the company invest something in the environment. So today it's very important that the company uh, uh, reduce the carbon footprint uh, because uh, it, with such kind of activities, they increase the image uh, to the, their clients, partners, and so on. And also they can benefit some refund of European Bank for research and development. And that's why ISO 50001 is important, because if application is not certificated according to that standard, uh, you will not get any refund. So there are some case studies where we implement uh, our energy management solution uh, in Slovenia and also uh, uh, in Austria, for example, in Croatia, in Serbia. So once it's we are uh, ex Republic, so some relationship with uh, ex, ex republics. So uh, here are some uh, references in industry, maybe steel company, cement company, they Schmidt, you know, they Schmidt, they are uh, they are doing those uh, carton uh, box. Uh, what's the expression? Uh, you know, yes, yeah, pack for packaging. Uh, Goodyear, for example, Renault in buildings. I mean, uh, each part. It's, I think that you know it's a huge uh, uh, retail. Uh, uh, also in Slovenia, not only in Austria. I think that also in Romania is. It was. It was. Uh -huh, it was. And also some hotels like here, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Tirco and uh, hotels and so on, hospitals. So. Let's look first at, at, at <coughs> cement factory. Why choose cement factory? I will explain you. Because their costs of energy were 10 million euros per year. And you can imagine that it's a huge amount of money. And if they don't control the cost of energy, they will not be competitive with their cement and other products. And their ambition was also that they, they, they would like to be uh, one of the most uh, efficient uh, companies also in Europe. They consume all kinds of uh, energy, electricity, water, gas, and so on, and many energy consumers. It's important that when we have, let's say, energy audit, we first have to look which are the biggest consumers, because those uh, 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 those consumers, we have to check what we can improve, how we can lower energy bill. You know that, I don't know, for all, or 20% of something, uh, use 80% of revenue. 
more or less here is the same. The 20 percent of consumers uh, we find out that they they, uh, they we spend with them 80 percent uh, of electricity or gas or something like that. Here is the number. Nine million euro. Please remember that number because I will come back to it. So uh, I will just focus, of course, on why they decide because there were new environmental regulation. They don't have. Uh, there was lack of energy data, lack of key performance indicator. Uh, there was no any analysis, uh, and they have to reduce the energy costs per ton of their products for each kilogram of products. And we implement everything with those, and they succeeded to lower or to decrease CO2 emissions with emphasis for 23%. That's a huge. Can you imagine that all company all around the world will reduce the, the, that emission? <laughs> we will be green again. <laughs> okay. And the savings, 4,000.5 megawatts. That's exactly 5% of energy. And 5% of 9 million is almost half a million euro. That was saving. Huh? Amazing. And the cost of investments? Uh, it was around half a million. So they, the return investment was within one year. Uh, they invest very good. I, I mean, if they, uh, if they go to the bank, uh, get the credit, they could return it within one year. <laughs> uh, so they don't need any money to do that. <laughs> That's paying uh, the, those, uh, I don't know how much is. The money is today very cheap, uh, isn't it? So they managed to do that without any money. Um, great, huh? So let's look uh, how we install uh, LoRaWAN devices since we, that was installation was made two years ago approximately. There's this old design. But it's very hot environment. It's uh, one uh, uh, narrow valley of river Socha, it's one of the be most beautiful river in Europe. You can see it, <laughs> you can check on the web, river Socha. So, and uh, since there, the mobile network was pretty low, small, because that river is in the border to the Italy, we implement Orava network. And so they are focused on how to lower energy consumption, no, not how to invest in wiring. You know, otherwise they will spend Two thousand, uh, two hundred thousand euros just to wire all uh, location. Here's location where we put uh, those solar one devices, and here are our gateways. There's no need that we uh, install three gateways, but at the time it was one of the first implementation with Lora one, and we want to be more than hundred percent sure that it will work. Okay. So uh, there are uh, examples how we save uh, money or our clients save money with no any investment in, in the equipment, just to check, to see those data. Here we say, see how much energy was used to, uh, to, uh, uh, to produce compressed air. And they found out that they, they produce around 20% more air than they need for the production. They found out from just for looking at the door diagrams. And that means that the savings were 600 euros per month. That means around 7,000 euros. Just for that, just that one look and hey, hey say, why, why we produce so many compressed air? Easy money again. So, and here we can see how, how, uh, how much they save. You know, that's Kusum diagram, which accumulate savings for each day. And at the, at the, at the end of the month, it approximately five to 600 euros. Uh, here's another uh, case how, how uh, in a seven factory save the money. Uh, uh, when they saw that, that graph, they, they were surprised how many industrial water they consumed. And they found that that, that is due to water leakage. And then they solved the problems with the pipes. Now what is the problem with, with the water? 
Everything <laughs> is uh, under the ground. Nobody see that. You receive the bill, you think it's normal. When, when you see the graph, you found out that something is abnormal. Where I spend so much water? And they decrease the consumption per day for 25 cubic meters water. Where in Slovenia, we have things got a lot of water, but nevertheless, it's, it's, it's not good that, that we are doing so, so. So, and that's another case study in buildings. Now we are moving from industry to buildings. The main idea is almost the same. How we can spend or decrease energy consumption. The difference that maybe in buildings we spend more money for heating or air conditioning, you know, it's just the source of uh, where energy is consumed is in different place. Here's an also interesting things. I think that you also have uh, breweries and the new owner is Heineken, and I, like I heard yesterday <laughs> with my colleagues. And sorry, the station is the same in Slovenia. So. Heineken took over uh, to our local brewery, you now we drink the same beer, just Heineken. <laughs> <laughs> so, and here is the same. They decrease the consumption of water for 14%, electricity, heat consumption, and compressed air uh, around 10%. <coughs> it's huge, 10% is huge uh, number. Uh, and of course, it was the same issue of challenge they need to install energy management system in order to improve their competitiveness in the market. So they improve their competitiveness in the market and Harry can say, oh, that's good company to buy. <laughs> uh, so uh, always is positive and negative side of uh, one story. So there's another uh, case in, in brewery company. You know, our, uh, I can call it here Janus, Janus an energy manager. He has a lot of experience. And when he, when he saw that diagram, which shows uh, how much energy is consumed by a cooling system, he found out that that, not, that amount is too high, drastically too high. And then we check, is there think anything wrong with, with uh, machinery? No, I think it's fine. Then he got an idea because he's experienced man that to check when they check that cooling medium, and they found out that they never that these things never had been done. So the, he 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 uh, suggests to change uh, the cooling uh, medium uh, and the consumption of electricity was halved. That means 50 percent lower. So there, again, case that there's no, there was no any investment in new uh, equipment. Then another thing is in hospitals. You can imagine hospitals. That that is case in Austria. You know that Austria is very uh, connected to Germany, and you know that in Germany there's one very strong company. The name is Siemens. You know, and more or less they control everything. But when the Vincent's group heard for our solution, when and, and they need to, the request was the energy management is according to their environment standard. We are again at ISO 50,000, which cover those standards. Uh, and uh, that cover how we have to manage, man, manage or what kind, how we can manage activities that we will lower energy, consu energy consumption uh, constantly. And one interesting thing is that first question was, well, we have Siemens, you know. I don't know if Gable Logic would work with Siemens. We said, no problem, we are happy and you will be happier. Because you already have hardware, you're, the data of, of energy consumption is already in the system. We will just install client OPC to Gable Logic and we will get all data in Gable Logic. So we collect 1,000 data which already exist in seven hospital to Gemologic. And, uh, and uh, the savings was again around five to six percent. Because you can imagine hospitals, the lights are uh, all day long, all day nights turn on. The ventilation, the heating system, 
has to be turned on daily and nightly. So in hospital, there's the, the challenge is also, is there any place to reduce cost? Because uh, somebody has to pay the cost at the end. Uh, the patient has to pay the <coughs> fee. That's a private hospital. They take care about costs. And in Slovenia, it's still not more or less all hospitals. These governments, so they don't care about it yet. <laughs> uh, and then the third case is, for example, in, in that uh, a shopping center, logistics center, BTC. BTC is one of the biggest Slovenian, let me say, marketing place uh, with uh, buildings with some principle I will mention because we are IT guys also in those complex we decided it's recreational also Cisco Microsoft gets its quarter uh, and so on so it's one place where all people uh, when they don't know what how to spend uh, Saturday or Sunday the hours or nights they come here and spend money and go to the cinema or sleep or something and here was the same problem. They, they, there were there is more than 400 different stores. So they would they their request was that they would like to implement energy accounting system for billing. So they would like to measure how much energy is or heating energy is spent and then divide uh, one square meter so that each uh, that, that each um, uh, store will pay. Uh, the fair amount of the bill. That was an idea. And the other thing is also that, that there, since there is a huge, let me see, sound, let's say, in the swimming pool, uh, there is also focus switch with uh, uh, water leakage. And here's, uh, for example, a case that uh, using that game logic, they, they also find out, uh, seeing their diagrams, that. Uh, that uh, around 130 meet, meet cubic meters, more than 100 cubic meters per, per day, was leaked into the ground. And, and after they solved the problem with, with those uh, water installation, the yearly, yearly amount of savings was 10, more than 20,000 euros. A lot for a water, because we all think the water is free of charge. Uh, so, and here's one thing, BTC uh, starts uh, to, uh, because there are a lot of uh, roof, a lot of stores, they install a solar power plant, and then, then, eh, at one moment, one day, uh, they found out that they are losing money, you know, they are losing money. And the difference between 5,000 and 75,000 and 30,000 euros because of because uh, of of the because the solar panel wasn't work correctly. So they're losing money because they don't produce their own energy. They have to buy it from the utility. And since they have a proof how much they lost, the uh, Slovenian assurance company pay them that amount. They have a proof. The software is ISO 50,000 certificated and they get back 5,000 euros. So that's one case. Also, no investment. Just to check what result, uh, what that data shows show us. And here's another uh, of, uh, water savings uh, uh, they found out that they are using uh, water during the night, but nobody, nobody spent the water. So uh, it was unusually high, uh, high consumption, about two cubic meters per hour. <coughs> they also find out that that's a problem uh, with uh, with uh, 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 that water leakage and reduction. They are also almost ten thousand euros. Okay. So now we have five minutes. Now we will talk about just monitoring about solution and and, uh, and now the second step is okay, we monitor the data. We just look at the data and we can see that we already save a lot of money. But the energy management system is something more than just monitor the data. And, and here I will tell you uh, I'm sorry, 
the difference. So energy management system means that we are able to develop an energy policy, policy that we were able to establish goals, objectives that we would like to follow, <coughs> that we establish key performance indicators, how to be more competitive, how we can lower the internal price of our product, how we can lower the, the costs. And that, that also, uh, that we perform also uh, key performance indicators that show us how uh, effective were our improvement. That we also uh, uh, support maintenance team with alarms, what I mentioned before. And we also can control heating, ventilation, air conditioning with, uh, with those uh, installed equipment. And you know that today everything needs energy, and we have a lot of a lot of number of uh, different parameters at high frequency. Frequency we have to validate the, them, and uh, and of course all those process uh, becomes very challenging, especially in real time. There's too uh, many data to understand the meaning of the data. So we can not do, not manage and control the consumption uh, in the old-fashioned way. We need some, uh, we need some more sophisticated environment that is doing analysis instead of us automatically. And of course, uh, that's why we, uh, it's a good idea to Im implement energy management. I still have 10 minutes. Oh, thanks God, that's enough time. <laughs> OK, so uh, but we have to understand that uh, when we implement something, we, we found out that there are a lot of benefits. <laughs> but we have to understand that energy management software is just a tool. If we don't look at analysis, if we just sit and wait that, that something will happen in front, we have to do some action. That's why. But we have all, uh, uh, we have clear <coughs> view on energy use. But then energy managers has to be involved in business to suggest how we, what we should do in the company to lower the consumption. Maybe the heating system is really too old. We have to replace, we have to play, uh, invest 25,000 euros because uh, uh, we are losing too much money. And as I mentioned, energy will go uh, will uh, be higher a few times in five, ten years. So we have to react now because otherwise uh, 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 companies could, uh, could uh, be under uh, high pressure because they, they will not be any competitive in the pro with their products. Uh, that certification, I mean, maybe you heard that number first time. I just mentioned, then you will heard. That means that if sometimes is certified in court according to ISO 50,000, sorry, one, that, that means that, uh, that this software, like GameLogic, enables systematic approach to continuous <coughs> improvements uh, 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 on the area of energy efficiency, reduction of emission, and long term, long term, low, uh, it enables us to lower uh, energy costs. As always, you're in your business, we have to do plans, we have to measure, we have to check, and we have to act. That's the role of energy man managers in the company. If the company don't have uh, energy manager, then there's, a man there's some consulted company who, uh, to whom uh, that job could be outsourced. Here, just show over you. Monitoring means that we establish measurements, we collect the data, we prepare analysis, set up a different view. But energy management means that we also set up key performance indicators, which shows us how effectively we control the costs. Okay? And if not, we have to uh, uh, take some actions to improve that. And that means that we have understand what are our goals. 
when we would like to sell the, the solution to the end user, <coughs> we have to ask them if they have some in, in environment requirements, what their goals is, how much they, they would like to reduce the energy, why so much, they will say, because our competitor is, is using 10% less energy per each kilogram or each piece of product. You can imagine salmon factory. In salmon factory, the cost of energy is 40%. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. So, uh, uh, thank you very much for your time, of course. Uh, I hope that I provide you some general overview information of what kind of issue we have with energy. So that we understand that energy is limited, that we have to, to take care uh, how we could, uh, let me say, lower the costs. Uh, at uh, ita to you stand, uh, we also have our devices yeah, that you can look how it looks. Uh, we also have uh, GameLogic uh, software where, where my colleague can show you how we collect the data, how we can personalize the different dashboards analysis, huh? how we can change alarms and so on. And if you will have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact ita to you directly. ita to you is our partner in that field uh, and we are happy. I'm especially happy that uh, I have the opportunity to present uh, those solutions. Thank you very much. Maybe is there any question? Of course, you are free to ask me.